Hi, I'm Jerome Gibson. I thought I'd show you how we we're changing our shower splash guard. Before, we were always using a uh, perfect 90 degree angle, but what we found was there's so many bathrooms that are out of square that we tried to make a, an overlapping angle out of it. Didn't really like that, and what we decided to do was repeat this design on the inside so that they will always overlap. I hope you can see it. I put some green tape on. But the whole idea is that when you install these, you always put the long piece that's coming down the wall on the inside, so any water that's coming along here just automatically goes back into the tub. I hope you can see it. There's a design right where these two joins. We put a real thick double stick adhesive on here, and this stuff is really aggressive. You know, you can't put this down and pick it up and put it down again. Once you put it down, it's pretty much going to stay down. What I did is I stopped for a minute, and I went out and I painted a couple of these so that you can have a much better idea of what they look like when folded. You really distinctly make this fold over like this and then you bring it in like that before you put it onto the grout because the grout is right down into that corner. What we also do is you notice that we put extra adhesive down here in that corner just so that it can always have enough and it won't thin out when you place it in. You just simply peel this off on the bottom right to about here put it into the grout, then once it's into the grout, lay this piece down flat on top of the tub, and then you can start peeling this off, or you position it however you want. Most people would go straight up. So now you can see how these flutes work. Now there's enough material left over, so if you still want a straight line, you can just cut this off however you want. Only have to cut this one, and you'll have a straight line. You haven't really lost anything, so I've left you lots to work with. And it still functions the same, and that gives you plenty Plenty of room to go in on that angle. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some tape on the inside just to hold it there. You can see how that looks. That's the way I've made these look, but when you get yours, they're going to be plain. I just took some um, lacquer spray paint and painted those, but when you get yours, they're going to look just like this. And again, I bend them quite a bit, then I fold them in, so there. Anybody that doesn't have shower doors, if they've got a curtain, they've got this problem. We've seen everything that's on the market to solve this problem, and some of them date back all the way to the 1900s. I've seen one style that's roughly 18 to $20 just for one side, one side of the tub. You only get one piece for 18 or $20. I can't wait until some of you guys get them in install and send me the photographs so that I can see what you've decided to do with yours and what your bathroom ended up looking like with them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.